Hey guys, it's me Cal. Welcome back to Cal's Epic Videos. And today I'll be showing you guys all of my blocks with plots. And I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And by the way, I have five of these plots. Yes, five. Some of them are finished, some of them aren't. Or should I just say one? But as you guys can see, all these values are pretty high, so it'll be quite interesting. Anyway, stay tuned to the end. Anyways, let's go on to the first plot. Okay, so I think I'm going to start from down here. So I'm going to press on house. And I'm pretty sure you guys would have saw this. Um, I did a house tour on this. I did a house tour on like every single thing. Like you guys saw everything but except for one thing. But for you guys that are new and stuff. Okay guys, so this is the first house that's called house. I know, I'm very bad at like picking the names and stuff. But right over here, um... There's just like um, these bushes, very plain, not really much stuff to talk about, except that there's bushes, obviously. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. There's some lights there, and yeah, I really like this house. It's just not really my style. It's more of like a blush house, which I don't really like. I like more like farmhouse, like open houses. This one is very, very crowded. It's like very squeezed in. But yeah, this house has two garages, and automatic here's the garage with my car i have a cheap car because i have my my big car in my in my main house which is the jeep and i also have um this garage just for like it's like basically like just like kids garage like if i'm playing in blocks like i can just like make this kids garage if they want to like ride their bike and stuff so yeah that's the like front area kind of moving on to the inside guys there's a doorbell right here can ring that but it's my house honestly i'm not gonna ring it and um got some umbrellas and some decorations i'm very like i talk about like the most littlest things like you guys can see what it is there so i don't really need to talk about that like okay so here's the living room i really like it it's like very like lazy because i just use the same exact picture on three like yeah i know it's lazy but i don't care i just try to make it look nice and it looks very nice you can't lie and um i also have this little table and this tiny living room it's so small this is why i don't really like this house it's like really small and like tight squeeze it's not really good um and a closet right there and some stuff and then here's like the breakfast little area like this is the breakfast dining table like that other one's for like like you know lunch and dinner this one's more for like breakfast and also this area is for breakfast and you just want to sit there as well and the kitchen is over here and yeah and the family nights po poster and this is a guest room very plain but yeah and a closet and this also leads into my office which is very weird for it to lead from the kids garage but now we're gonna be going upstairs actually wait i should you guys the backyard first and yes guys i know the pillars are on a place here because this is when i didn't have the advanced placing because i just got it like pretty recently like, like three months ago or something but um here's the snowman i just realized i could color the snowman so i just got excited and just colored it pink so yeah and finally the floaties work because for some reason they weren't working for me at least and there's the pool area and the swings and my plants are they withering i'm surprised i haven't been in this house forever since forever here's a little picnic area i got inspired by somewhere when i typed in picnic area or backyard ideas on google for Bloxburg. and here's the sand pit and the tree house i'm going to show you guys that right now so guys i've always left tree houses in my houses this is one is very plain i know i am so undetailed when it comes to like decorating and yeah and here's like the little fun kid stuff in the swing anyways let's move on to the second lot guys i literally forgot i need to go to the second floor oh my gosh i can't spend too much time in these houses I oh wait yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh i'm so slow here's a family room right over here here is the bathroom. Here is the garage, yeah. My garage, because I have my car. Here is the laundry room. There used to be a door here to lead into the garage, but I didn't really like it. So I just, that's why it looks so plain. 
and here's the laundry room. And here's the playroom. Very the most detailed thing out of the place. Because there's like so much toys in Bloxburg. And um you guys can watch my house tour to make it more detailed and stuff, but I'm trying to be as fast possible as possible. So here's my room. Um there is a one hundred um visits trophy 100 not visits like 100 um daily long history yeah that was when i was not bored of bloxburg i mean i'm not really bored of bloxburg but i get bored of bloxburg easily because i always finish houses and stuff and i just yeah and here's the baby room here's the kids girls room very bright even though i use linen here's the bathroom I keep on repeating rooms. Okay, that's the parents' bathroom when I just showed you guys. This is the boys' kids' room. This is a teenager kids' room that's for any gender. And this is a kids' bathroom. And I'm just gonna yeep myself down there. And I'm gonna go to the second plot because apparently I already took six minutes on school plot. Like, come on. Okay, moving on. Okay, guys, so this is my second plot. It is called hotel because it's a hotel you guys saw me and my friend cassandra roleplay in this video i mean in this hotel if you guys didn't go check that out it's very long because it's i don't really know it's a voiceover so i kind of got distracted and stuff so yeah but i never really did a i never really did a hotel tour i was about to say house tour but now i'm gonna be doing one but i just real put in that time so yeah there's a parking lot there's two parking lots which no one ever uses because they always just walk here but that's fine. Here is, um, by the way, guys, this is very boxy, I know, but I didn't try hard. I didn't even watch a tutorial. Usually I watch tutorials for like builds and stuff, but it's like probably my only one I didn't watch a tutorial on, so that's why it's so bad. But, anyways, here's a cafeteria area. Um, so there's some tables that were very expensive. Um, the kitchen area. And the bathroom. It's a bunch of toilet stalls. It seems very creepy, like, especially when it's night. I haven't thought through that. Like, when it's night, it's gonna get, be dark in there because it's just um, daylight. Um, this is a staff only room. Staff only. And yeah, there you can just level up and stuff. And here's a staff area for like when they wanna register. And then here's a pool area that no one ever goes to because it's like locked off kind of i don't really know you might think it's like for staff or something and here's like a little sitting area that no one ever uses once again but that pool area no one ever uses and it was so expensive and this elevator oh my gosh it was the most expensive thing ever okay okay guys so now we're on the second floor and um there is like themed rooms and yes i knew my i know my mood's down but basically guys um there is just the bathroom in there where there's just like a shower. There's just a shower, toilet, sink, a kitchen area, um, a living area, very bright, and a little crib and a balcony. They just want to have some fresh air. So, yeah. And then over here is the pink room that is just being pink and basically the same just a living area the kitchen crib bed that i haven't been using this that much and now going on to the third floor okay guys so on the third floor is um here is the white room so it's just the kitchen living room crib bed and a bathroom and a balcony as well and in the black room there's just kitchen bed crib i added the cribs like just recently like when i did this like i didn't add them right away because like people are just like can i have a, like a, a bed for my baby and i was just like oh i haven't thought that through so yeah i have living room and a kitchen kitchen yeah right bathroom of fourth floor 
which is the VIP floor because there is a gray room that is like very VIP. Yes, I know, very different. So it's like a very um aesthetic modern aesthetic modern kitchen. A look very um amazing living room with one couch. Yes, better than one, better than two couches. A crib, a TV that's very big, a royal bed. What is this I see here? A bathroom that is very nice and expensive. These are like 1,000. Like, these are more than 1,000, so like, they're the VIP room. Here's a more VIP uh, relaxation area. And a crib, of course. Can't forget about those babies. Okay. Here's the yellow room. Very bright. Not really bright, but like, more in your face. And here is the crib, the kitchen, the living room that actually has two chairs and a bed and the bathroom and the balcony. Wait, why is it not? Oh, it does. It's just on the other side. And now let's just go on to my third lot, guys. Okay, guys, so this is my family home. This was actually my first ever um, Bloxburg house, but on this account, I actually used to have another account that was called Pirate Little Keys, but apparently I got hacked. I have a band or hacked, but most likely hacked because I didn't really do anything bad. And um, here's the garden area, the outside area basically. I'm trying to be quick, guys. Uh, another automatic garage. Um, some decorations for a garage and a car. And now let's go through the front door, which this house um, is a little living area. Um, the office area. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Basically, my light just came off, like, the electricity. And, um, here's the bathroom. The downstairs bathroom. Here's the big kitchen. This is, like, such a huge kitchen. Oh, my gosh. I love this kitchen so much. And also this living room. Um, here is the backyard with the nice pool and everything the picnic area the barbecue my um whatever that's called my tree house that is actually very detailed except for the inside the outside is very deep so i actually watched a tutorial for it but i do not remember what it's called like who's a wagon down here swing set hopscotch um, trampoline with no nets. Yes, you can just jump off over the fence. And a little sink boxes. And now let's just go on to the second floor of this house. Okay, guys, I know this is very bright, but like, oh my gosh, this is very bright in here. It's not even white lights, it's literally linen, because I use so much of it. It's like linen mixed with white lights. That's a white light, and that's a linen light. Yes, I know, very weird. This is why it's my first house built here's a desk area i mean here's a teenager's room basically um here is a kid's room with a little secret area to read some books and a dream house and here's the baby's room which i really like this room it looks really adorable here is a time out room it was like a very very tiny room and i just felt like i didn't really want to waste that room so i just decided why not if we're being bad just put them in there Trust me, guys, I'm not, I'm not like that in, in real life. Here is the master bedroom, aka my room. Because, yeah. Here's a laundry room. Here is the tiny playroom. Because I really wanted a playroom in this house, so I just try to make it as, as a room. And here's the bathroom. Upstairs bathroom. So now, you guys, let's go on to my fourth plot. We're getting closer, guys. So, you guys, this is the fourth house, and it's called Main House. Because it's my main house, of course, so it will be. Because I'm actually making another house that I think will be my main house forever. So, um, here is the pond area. Here's just the outside area. Here's the garage, which when I did a house tour, it was actually a van, but I decided to change it into a Jeep, which I really like better. Although on my choice in real life, it would probably not be a Jeep, but, like, it, it would probably be a superior car, like, you know, like, no, not that. Like, you know, like, that car on Bloxburg, guys, like, really fast, and it's, like, blue, and the roof can come off? 
like I really want that car in Bloxburg and even in real life, but mostly a Tesla in real life. But that's not the one. And here's like a little office area. Some stuff, yeah. Let me watch. Here is the bathroom, the downstairs bathroom. I already did a house tour really, like, really recently. So here's the movie theater, the, like, little food area. Gosh. Okay. And then, where am I? Okay, here's the basement. Little scene area, the little, the gym, and the game room. Guys, want to see, like, a better house tour than this? Go watch my video. It was not too long ago. Here's my laundry room. That is humongous. It used to be a bedroom, but I changed it to a laundry room because, yeah. And here's my huge kitchen. It is huge. I don't know why, but it is. And I like it because I love spacious houses. Here's a living room, a piano, a dining room, the outside area. That I'm just going to show you guys really quickly because I was just going to be like 30 minutes. This balcony area, the playground, sand pit, picnic, treehouse, pool, and treehouse. Yeah. I'm going to show you guys upstairs. So here's the upstairs, guys. So I just left that open, but here's my bedroom. Um, Here is the bathroom. And coming up there, here is the teenager's room. Here is the playroom. I actually did a role play in this house, like just the last video I did. And here's the baby room. Here is the kids' washroom that like leads into the other kids' room. I mean the only kids' room. There's a teenage room, a baby room, and a kids' room. So like for every like role play. So yeah. And I believe that is it for the house. Now let's go on to the final house, guys. You guys will be so shook. If anybody even uses that word anymore. Okay, guys, so this is the last house, and it is actually not done as you guys can tell. And it is called Dream House because this is gonna be my dream house once I finish it. And it is seventy-four thousand dollars right now. And also, guys, before you guys say anything, before you guys do this video, just like because I copied it from Favex. This is credits from Favex. I love your house, Favex. Obviously, she's not gonna be watching this, but like all of you like Favex fans, you guys will know this is her house. But she actually got the layout so that people can copy her house only if they give her credit. So this is Favex's house. I'll put her um channel name in the description so you guys can check her out. And if you guys want to build that, just go check her out. Okay, now. Say goodbye to suing me. And um here's the front area and there's a garage all the way over there, but I'm guessing you guys already know what that looks like because I'm not gonna go walk over there. Here's the kids' garage. Um I didn't decorate it all. I only decorate two rooms, which is one of this. Um this is one of them. Kids are garage. And there is also, and also the patio is not done. There's supposed to be like a little couch area over there, but yeah. And then right over here, guys, we have the laundry room. So yeah, it is very detailed. And yeah. And now, so I'm gonna show you guys this, so like, like where everything's gonna go. So like, this is gonna be the office, living room, kitchen, bedroom. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's just like the thing. So yeah. If you guys want to like see the original layout, go to Fave X, okay? Do not ban me. Okay, anyways guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!